Hey peeps, this is Thomas E. Harrington, aka Reaper the Storyteller, and I also have my boy, Makai. That's right. <laughs> and we are back with another Soup Bowl Network LLC.com charitable event where the online store gives 30% of all sales to charity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we love to give. And now we do these charity charity events <laughs> every month and this month we are going to uplift, highlight and donate to the Bountiful Food Pantry. That's right. That's right. Awesome organization. They do a lot of things in the community that you can join in, kits that you can build with uh, groups that you already belong to if you want to get involved. We'll go more over that in the website. We have a haul to do, so we're going to pick up some good food yep. and, and then go through that too. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to add before we take off and go grab some food? Nope, let's get to the hall. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So we'll be right back after the hall, and then we'll go over the website and wrap it on up like we always do. <laughs> so until then, and always, oh, let love day. and peace be with you. Don't let them take it away. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Mm. Uh. Are back with the hall, and there's my cat. Hello. Hey, hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> now we got a bunch of stuff ready to go and deliver. So we'll just start here. We got some macaronis. Uh, we get four packs because there's easier to break apart. Um, sometimes they'll split it up with families, things like that. So those are always good. Got the mashed potatoes, nice and filling, especially on a on these cold nights. We got the soup. Always good for cold nights. <laughs> We've got some ramen. We got fruit, of course, veggies. We got the tuna, green beans. Gotta have your greens, good for you. Also over here, we got some beans. We got some rice, some more beans. Just things that are really filling for you. We also get a lot of these bags because when we do the sorting, we wanna make sure that they have bags too. People forget about that. We also are gonna have some, uh, which I did not get, but we will be getting. <laughs> we will be getting some can openers. Always remember the can openers. Always remember the can openers. <laughs> For obvious reasons. <laughs> All right, well, that's about it. We will go ahead and wrap this up, put this in. We're gonna go ahead and sort this now, and then we'll go to the website so you can learn a little bit more about them and what they do, how to help them, and get the help if you need it. Uh, anything else you want to add, Makai? I think you covered it. Just uh, help where you can. I like it. Perfect, perfect. All right. Well, we will be right back with the website, so don't go nowhere. And like I always say, you better let that love and peace be with you. All right, and we are back with another Soup Bowl Network LLC.com charitable event where the online store gives 30% of all sales to charity. Now, the organization we are uplifting and spotlighting today is the Bountiful Food Pantry. Uh, they're a great organization. We're going to go over their website where you can find them at bountifulfoodpantry.org. All right, now if you come to the service section, you can see the hours and location, but it also gives you information on the Bountiful Community Food Pantry on what their mission is. And it's basically to relieve hunger and increase self-sufficiency of individuals in need living in Davis County, Utah. Now, their main focus is food, but they will provide referrals when they can with their partnerships that they have with other organizations. Now, when you come down to the We Serve section, uh, you'll see that they serve the Davis County residents and like-minded community assistant programs. One example of their partnerships with Davis County is with the Davis School District, which they help through the No Hunger Zone program. For their food assistance, twice a month they give groceries. Now, they also give household supplies and hygiene products as available. Uh, they also do a pantry to go, which is basically just delivering uh, groceries to homebound clients. 
They also have a No Hunger Zone Child Hunger Program. Now, this program provides emergency food boxes. It gives food to principal pantries, pantry vouchers, and pantry assistants. Now, you can also go to the pantry packs. They have a link for that that'll give you more information. But basically, it gives a child-friendly three-pound bag of food uh, that the students will get every Friday. Now, this is a great supplement for food for kids that need food over the weekends, especially since the uh, free school lunches are no longer an option. Uh, parents don't have enough money to pay for food anyway. So this really helps uh, make sure that the kid gets the food that they need. They also have client services. Now they have a few new things. They also have a free medical referral program, which is really awesome. It's pretty new. And it's basically to see if you qualify to get help to pay for your groceries and to pay for healthcare products each month. You also might be eligible to get help paying for dental care, uh, hearing aids, transportation to medical appointments, and eyeglasses. If you have Medicare, uh, then you can reach out directly. They have a link for that and to see if you qualify. They also have a free immigration consultation for clients. So basically you set up an appointment with a lawyer that volunteers his time once a week. Uh, you get the consultation to if you're seeking advice regarding immigration for things like a visa or people seeking asylum, getting work permits or family immigration advice. They also can help you get housing and utility assistance. Uh, they have a referral for Pantry Smiles, which is basically a dentist that works with them, dental care. You can also get Deseret Industry vouchers for clothing and household items. Also have partners at the pantry. Uh, basically, that's a time where it's open doors to talk about rent and utility assistance and for WIC. Now, if you come to the Get Help section, you can find out a little bit more about how to receive these services. They do have a way to register so that you can come to the pantry twice a month. Now, they do say do not come twice a week because you do receive a week's worth of groceries. So that's a way to kind of spread it out throughout the month. Now, they go through the steps of how to register, uh, what identification to bring, proof of current home address, and proof of income. And they also give examples of what these are so that you're ready uh, right when you show up. They also have temporary COVID assistance with rent and utilities. Um, I would check to make sure that that's still there. They also have temporary assistance available uh, through the Utah Rent Relief Program, which they actually have a link to that too. The sub for Santa's clothes, maybe next year. <laughs> but they do have a bunch of uh, links to other services with people that they partnership with to try to cover all the needs of the people in need. Now, if you come to the volunteer section, you'll see that they heavily rely on volunteers. <laughs> they rely on over 200 regular volunteers and countless occasional volunteers, including individuals, businesses, community and church groups, and a variety of professionals. So they really, really need the help, as much help as they can get. Now, if you come down to volunteer opportunities, then they will show you what kind of opportunities are open for you to be involved. Uh, there's seniors, adults, youth age of 14 and up are encouraged to apply for these volunteer roles. They also have volunteer positions routinely needed, which this would be a really good list to look through, um, which they have a very interesting list, just like office help, answering phones. They also have non-routine service opportunities for you. So definitely check those out too. Now they have a program set up where you can request a date using the application links below. Uh, they have group services and those range from ages 12 and up up to 15 people per group, or they also have family services, all ages, up to 10 people per group. They have accommodations that can help you 
volunteer. So definitely reach out to them if you can. They also have some pretty unique additional service opportunities like hosting a fundraiser or food drives, uh, pantry packs. Now when you come to the donate section, they have some really awesome ways to donate that we're going to go through. Uh, they also have a really good list of most important items, items for the pantry packs, Christmas dinner in a box, which is really awesome, fruit and vegetable donations, and food drives. And of course, money is always acceptable. <laughs> they also have other ways that you can donate, so definitely go through this list too to see if there's ways that you can help. Now, if you come to the news and events uh, section, you will see them thanking people. <laughs> they also have articles on things like legal offenses holding you back or new client resources, October needs, just different articles that could help you. Uh, so definitely check them out. Definitely check out their background and history because it talks about uh, where they came from, but it also talks about some of the programs they have going on right now. Uh, the things that they do for holidays, uh, all the help they have given to the Davis School District. Also, uh, a little more information about their collaborations with different organizations. Definitely, definitely check it out. It's really, really interesting. Where our food and funding comes from. Then it gives you more information about the board of directors, the staff, and all their other partners that they have, including other in-kind services and they have an awards and recognition section. Really, really awesome. Definitely check it out. All right, and that about does it for the Bountiful Food Pantry website, which you can find them at bountifulfoodpantry.org. This is an awesome organization, especially for groups or a family to get together and make pantry packs for children. Uh, also, there's plenty of volunteer uh, opportunities, so definitely check that out. And if you just need the assistance and you're in Davis County area, then definitely this is the organization to help you out. Now we're going to be wrapping this thing on up. And like always, beautiful, let love and day. peace be with you. Don't let them take it away. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. All right, and we are back to wrap up another Soup Bowl Network LLC.com charitable event where the online store gives 30% of all sales to charity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, the uh, organization that we uplifted today and that we donated to was... The Bountiful Food Pantry. <laughs> That's right. And as you can tell, they are an awesome organization. So if you need their help or you know someone that needs them, they are a great place to go for food also if you have groups or you're part of a group that wants to get involved do a little bit more for the community they have the kit parties that you can get in touch with them and then they can set you up <laughs> just loving on everything so that'll be about it for this uh, charitable event that we do every single month so look out for it I am Thomas E. Harrington aka Reaper the Storyteller with my boy Makai and you have a great rest of your day. And like always, beautiful let day. love and peace be with don't you. Don't let them take it away. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. So don't let them take it away.